games played. So it is going to be a competitive season. And if you don't play well, you're going to lose. That's the way it is in this league. Here's one on one. Jewel Lloyd can take some time off the clock. Now Chicago choosing not to foul. Oh, Sue. Dagger from the wing. In and out. Tipped around. And who's got it? It's loose on the floor. Oh, and Chicago no. comes up with it with a run out. Gabby tries to get oh! it for the ball. And sets it away. But right there is Candace Parker for the layup. Oh, what a play by Gabby Williams. But to no avail. Chicago scores anyway. It's a three point game. It's a three point game. And they're just. They need to just settle down. Chicago's going to play defense. There's plenty of time. This is a crucial possession to make it a two possession game. Sue's got it. Around to Brianna. Slip screen. Ezzy, three on the shot clock. Throws it up. No good. Offensive rebound. Gabby Williams. And oh. she loses it. Oh, my gosh. What a bizarre. Last minute of this regulation. This has been so odd for Seattle. Great job flying in the air to come away with this and then just somehow loses possession of it unguarded. It happened against Phoenix. But this block by Ooh. Gabby timing it going up with her left hand. Remember six foot two high jumper. She was one of the best went to the Olympic trials getting up there and unfortunately it lands right in the lap of Candace Parker but Gabby Williams showing her athleticism I'll tell you she'll take it all back just to hang on to that basketball and Chicago all the time in the world to try to get a three-point shot well just think about the breaks Chicago has gotten in the last 30 seconds I mean you've got the scrum down here not only do they come up with it they come up with it on a two on zero break the other way it's like in football when there's a fumble and just somebody breaks and free it, and yeah, exactly it bounces into some guy's arms at the 30 yard line right. and he just takes it in right and then Gabby Williams with a brilliant block Brianna's right there to get it but it goes off her hands Chicago goes the other way and then how many times out of a thousand is Gabby Williams just going to dribble the ball too high and out of bounds? I mean, you did mention it happened before this year, but well, Jewel holy lost smokes. one against Phoenix, wide open to shoot a lay-in, and it just kind of mysteriously slipped out of her hands. And then Stephanie Talbot had the ball in the wing, trying to pass it, and it just it looked like it got tipped, but I think it just slipped out of her hands. So Seattle, these crucial turnovers. Here we go. Do you foul if you're Seattle up three? We'll see. Vandersloot with five seconds left. Gives off the Quigley. Don't want the ball in her hands with two. With one for the tie. No good. They were going to say that's a two. Doesn't matter as it goes off the mark. And Seattle gets the rebound. And that ends this one. So stress-free for about, I don't know, 38 minutes. <laughs> and then it got really stressful they just the wanted Seattle to make Storm. sure this season they haven't had any of those clutch <laughs> games decided by a couple of possessions but an interesting strategy they choose not to foul up by three especially with Vandersloot inside the three-point line and you can clearly see here that Allie Quigley's foot inside the three-point line this would not have yep. tied the game it would have been one point short even if that would have gone in my goodness, so Seattle hangs on 74-71. Did not think we'd be using the term hang on after what we saw for most of the game, which was Seattle leading by anywhere from six to 15 points most of the way. Ezzy Magmagor, the hero tonight, 21 points on nine of 13. Brianna Stewart, the return after a couple of games off, 13 points on five of 12, and she's with Piper Shaw. Thank you, Dick. Brianna, we got to start with this. Can you just take us through the last minute of this game from your perspective? Oh, I mean, Chicago made some plays. Gabby had a huge block. Um, that They got the ball back and scored, and Gabby made another great defensive play. What can you say about the fight that your team had throughout this game, but especially in these last couple minutes? I mean, we've had a lot of ups and downs this past, this past week, and we want to defend home court. We have a long home stretch, and we want to make sure we're getting wins. Tonight was your return after coming back from some health and safety protocols. How important was it to you to come back and make an impact right away? Uh, I wanted to be here for my team and, you know, just do whatever I can. Obviously, COVID is real and people need to continue to mask up and, and get vaccinated. But I'm happy to be back and hopefully my wind will get a little bit better next game. 
The bench put up more than 20 points. Ezzy matched her career high. Every single player on your team had points. How much do you guys feed off of it when you are all contributing like that? I think it's huge. I think it's just a fact that we know we have depth. That we know that that's going to be the, the our biggest favorite. Um, as we go along this season, and as he was huge, as he was just aggressive from the start, and that's what we need from her. You had such a huge impact on this game, as did the rest of your teammates, but can you just elaborate a little bit more on how awesome Ezzy's game was? Ezzy's was huge. I mean, the fact that when, when she has the, the confidence and the motivation to get to the basket, it's hard to stop. Uh, we see it every day in practice, and now everybody else saw it today. Thank you so much for the time. Congrats on the win. Thanks. All right, Dick and Elise, back to you. Great to see Stewie back. We talked about the beginning of the game tonight. Seattle 20 and 23 all time without Brianna Stewart. They now go to an even 40 games over.